everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. I actually have a bridal show that I'm going to be going to. Um, it's my second one that I'm doing, which I'm really excited about. Um, and it is currently, let's see what time it is. It's one o'clock and I want to be ready by like 1.45. So I just want to go ahead and film a get ready with me. I'm just going to start putting on stuff while I talk. This is also going to kind of be like a chit chat video with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pry my eyes and if I don't talk about the product that I use I'll leave like a message box on the side of my screen just because I want to talk I want to get ready with you guys but at the same time I'm on a bit of a time schedule <laughs> so I have a bridal show it's my second one like I said which I'm so excited about Steve's coming with me um, I have everything all set and ready. The only thing I have to do is, of course, my makeup, which I'm doing now, and I have to find an outfit. And I really, really have no idea what I'm going to wear. I thought it was supposed to be a rainy day today, but then, of course, like an hour, two hours ago, I don't know where Chanel is either. That's probably not a good thing. Like two hours ago, it bright sun, it's like 75 outside, so of course I'm going to now like sweat the whole freaking time today. Of course, it's just... I can't have a nice, calm, rain. I would have preferred a rainy day. Actually, I don't know. First world problems. I'm just going to go ahead and do something kind of simple, um, a little bit smoky with kind of a color on the lid. This has kind of been, I think I'll just kind of do my everyday look um, for you guys just because this is just my everyday look that I've been doing recently. I'm first going to go into my Makeup Geek palette. I'm going to take the shade Shimma Shimma, which is up here, and I'm using my Sigma E55 brush. I'm going to place this down as my brow bone highlight. So life has been so crazy lately and the reason why I'm filming a get ready, I feel like I have been doing not a lot of get ready with me videos, but I feel like my go-to video to do is always a get ready with me video. But honestly, I have three appointments tomorrow. I have every single day this weekend something going on. So the only day that I could film this week is going to be Friday and of course I want to get a video for you guys. Now I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and I'm going to put this in the crease. Um, and Friday I want to film my May favorites because technically tomorrow is June 1st and I always get my May favorites up before the end of the month but this month is completely different because the beginning all the way to the middle of June is just absolutely insane. So just bear with me for the next couple weeks. I definitely will do two videos a week hopefully um, because just doing one now I'm gonna go with creme brulee by the way um, just doing one video just kind of gives me like anxiety like I want to do two so I'm gonna try my best like I said the next couple weeks are just gonna be so crazy insane so just bear with me I'm gonna try my best when it comes to filming so that's why I'm sitting down today because I'm hoping I get this video out for you guys on Friday and then I'll have my favorites up on Monday hopefully so Fingers crossed. Wait, let me find the golden retriever first. All right, we're good. She's sleeping in the bathroom, so we're good. I'm now gonna go in with a little bit of Cocoa Bear, I think. I'm gonna go in and just put this right into the crease as well. God, I'm so hot. And then the following Saturday, um, I have plans. The following Saturday, Steve and I have a wedding. And then the following Saturday is my birthday. So, Thankfully, I'm very thankful for the fact that June is, July is kind of calm with appointments. I have a couple things, but as of right now, July is very, very calm, which I'm grateful for. I'm thankful for the fact that I have things going on, but I'm kind of glad that July will be calm. That's my birthday month, and so it's the summertime, and, oh, and you know, it'll be a little bit calmer, and then it gets a little bit crazier in August, and then September, October, November, every single weekend, I have a wedding. So, or wedding or two, I should say, actually. So, you know, I'm just trying my best to balance doing filming and, of course, doing my main career, which is freelancing and being a business owner. Um, and, yeah, that's my life. I think next weekend I want to vlog, though, because Friday I have a wedding I'm doing makeup for, and then Steve and I are also attending the wedding. Then Saturday I have a wedding early in the morning. I have a trial. And then that night, I'm supposed to be going to a housewarming party and a birthday party with Steve, which we'll see how that goes because I know I'm seriously going to be so freaking exhausted. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go in with mocha and Americano. I'm going to mix those two and just put it in my outer corner. And then Sunday, I have a wedding. I'm going to try and vlog that weekend, um, especially Friday with the wedding that we're going to. It's our really close friend's wedding. So... 
I'm just gonna literally just gonna be absolutely insane that day. These are like you you guys are probably watching and thinking like Ashley I don't know why you're telling us this but this is just my mind. My mind literally goes like a thousand miles an hour. I'm hoping everybody else's mind does this. My mind seriously goes like a thousand miles an hour and then the next second I'll be like oh my god I need coffee. Like that's or maybe that's just a woman's mind. I don't know. But um you know my schedule for that day. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. I have to be over there at like I'm gonna be there at like 8:45 so I can set up my stuff. The bride and the bridal party are coming at nine. I have to start doing their makeup right away. They have to be ready by two two thirty because they're doing a first look beforehand. So once they're done and once I'm done with their makeup, I should say, then I have to come home. I have to. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my makeup when I come home, and then I have to be ready by like 3:45. So I can go to Steve's, get in the car, drive to our hotel, check in to our room. Then I think when we get to our room, I'm going to put on my dress and do my hair and all that stuff. And then we have to be on a shuttle to go to the place by five, I think. And then I have to go down, do touch-ups, and then the wedding starts at six. So Friday, like I'm so excited for that weekend. but there's a part of me that's also like absolutely dreading it you know what i mean then the other thing that is driving me crazy as well is my skin thankfully i feel like whenever like whenever i sit down my skin is always at like the worst possible moment but at the same time it looks worse than it actually is which is weird um but lately my skin has just been going bananas like absolutely insane um i'm gonna now take my um cream color brush this is the e58 by sigma i'm gonna go with my persona cosmetics identity palette and i'm gonna take the i'm gonna go with seductive so this has kind of been like my everyday color that i wear i'm just gonna go ahead and place this right on the lid i think that everybody in the world has skincare problems and skin problems um i am not the kind of person to sit here and pretend like my skin is absolutely perfect you know i think that everyone on youtube we all try our best and when i say everyone i'm just I just think that this is I just always thought this you know while watching YouTube videos that everyone else's skin is just like absolutely perfect I'm gonna go in with Maverick and just blend that in a little bit um everyone's skin is absolutely perfect on YouTube for these makeup tutorials and I always looked and like mine is not perfect whatsoever I try my best I spend money on skincare products I do everything that I can but at the end of the day sometimes my skin just absolutely hates me and there are times that I get really down about it because, you know, skincare is so important to me and making sure that my skin is the best is huge. It's huge for me. I'm going to go with my line perfecter by E is the E68 brush and I'm going to take Corrupt by Makeup Geek, which is the black. And I'm just going to create a line right along my um, lash line. So I don't want to do wing liner today because I don't have time. But anyway, so I mean, I will sit here and I will tell you my skin is absolutely not perfect. I sit here sometimes and I just get so like upset about it because, you know, I want my skin to look good. And, and I've said it before, I am a business owner. I'm a makeup artist. And so a lot of the times, like my skin is, is you know, my canvas. It's my, I'm like a walking, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying like it's a narcissistic thing to say. But when you're a business owner, especially a makeup artist, you know, the way that you look and the makeup that you have, you're like kind of like your own walking billboard. And if people like your makeup, then they're going to come up to you and be like, oh my gosh, your makeup looks amazing. Where'd you get it done? Oh, I did it myself. I'm a makeup artist. Here's my business card. Here we go. There's not too much stress going on. I mean, life can be a thousand times worse in my life right now. But I mean, there's personal stress going on. There's business stress. I mean, like I said, this next weekend, is absolutely insane. I'm looking so forward to it, but there's also a part of me where I'm just, I'm dreading it because I don't even know how I'm gonna survive next weekend. Because for me, I'm absolutely fine when it comes to doing weddings and, you know, being the makeup artist, but when I'm attending the wedding, I think that that's when I just really, I really push myself. Like two weekends ago, Steve and I, I did the makeup for the wedding and the 
girl who I talk to all the time, she was sweet enough to invite Steve and I to her wedding. We ate dinner, we left, and it was like 10 o'clock because I looked at Steve and I just started to, when I'm overly tired and I'm on my feet all day, my knees start to hurt, my back starts to hurt, my everything starts to hurt. And what happened was I seriously was so tired that my bones started to ache, my body was killing me, I was absolutely freezing, I was shaking so bad when Steve and I got home that he had to walk me to my car so I can get in the car and go home. It was, I woke up the next day and I had a 100 degree fever. Like, I think it was just from pure exhaustion. So this weekend coming up, I feel like I totally overbooked myself and I'm so nervous that that will happen again because at the end of the day, it's my business. I'm the sole makeup artist. There's no person to back me up. If I'm sick, I don't know what the heck I'll do one day. God forbid if I get like deathly sick and I can't make a wedding, I really don't know what I'll do. Like I will be literally so upset and so stressed out. I'm just downing vitamins. I'm gonna be taking so much emergency just to get through. What time is it? Oh my God, I'm talking so much. Just to get through the weekend. Like I'm just so nervous that I'm just gonna get so overly exhausted this weekend that I'm just seriously going to just I don't even know what. I'm just nervous. All right, I'm gonna put my primer down. This is my Hourglass Veil Primer. By far my favorite and I'll definitely definitely need it today. So I'm just gonna apply this all over. The stress of things going on in my personal life. It just has gotten to me to wear this. Oh and also you know that wonderful time that all women go through a month. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Nature. I always thought to myself, you know, oh, I'm not gonna film today because my skin looks so bad. But you know what? At the end of the day, everybody has skin problems. So I'm not gonna sit here and film and pretend like my skin is perfect because you know what? My skin's not perfect. And if I have a breakout, I know how to cover it up. To sit here and say like, you have to have the most perfect skin to wear makeup is totally false because my skin is nowhere near perfect. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to be putting it on my House of Lashes Smoky Muse lashes for you guys. I don't know where I put my... There it is. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with my tried and true Too Faced Born This Way. My shade that I'm using is light beige. I actually did just tan. Um, I literally just like threw it on my body. So I don't even know if it matches. I don't even know if I have any streaks on me. It's fine. I don't even care. <laughs> And I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just blend all this out. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna go in with my um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in light. I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of my Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer. I actually bought it in my Ulta haul and I didn't show it in my Ulta haul because when I was going through and doing the description bar for that video, I decided to go on you know, my Ulta account and just go through each thing so I could, you know, do the websites for you guys if you want to go ahead and look them up and purchase them for yourself. And when I did that, I was going through and I realized that I had bought my Tarte concealer and I never got it. So I messaged Ulta and I said to them, like, you know, I ordered the shape tape and I never received it. So I got it in the mail and the color that I had ordered originally was light, light warm and they sent me light sand. I'm not mad about it because honestly, like I just, as you just saw me do, I can just use it to highlight my face a little bit, but I wanna go ahead and get the correct shade because on its own, I think it's just way too like flat or something. Like it's too, it's not the color that I would like for my under eyes. Like as you just saw, I use it to kind of brighten up the under eyes a little bit, but I wanna go ahead and get the right concealer because everyone raves about that stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to my face. This is the Temp 2 by BoxyCharm. I got this in my BoxyCharm box last month. It's like a liquid highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit to the tops of my cheekbones. Just to add a little bit of a glow. And then I'll go on top and add highlighter, of course, later on. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set everything. I'm using my tried and true Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I literally cannot find my freaking Sigma um, F35 brush. I don't know where it is. Like, I don't know where it is. I'm going to use this one by Morphe. This is the M438, which is very similar to it. I took it with me to that wedding that Steve and I went. So if I wanted to touch up 
or anything. I think I put it on the dining room table or something because I wanted to clean it and I don't know where I put it. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my whole face with this. Normally I go on with another powder but it's a little warm out today and I'm gonna be walking around all over. Just might as well set my whole face with this powder. Brow time, brow time. I'm so excited to meet some people today. That brow is way too high. Can't wait to set up my table. I'm going my Sigma Brow Duo in medium, taking the lighter shade and filling in this inner corner. This is the Sigma Angled E75 Brow Brush, and I've gotten a couple questions as to where they can get this brush because you can't buy it on its own on Sigma. You get it in like the brow kit of theirs. Like it comes with this and I think a tweezer and a little scissor and it comes with brow wax and you can get that on Sigma and it comes with this brush. Like you can buy the brush on its own but it doesn't have the spoolie at the end. So if you want I can link like a brow kit that I got down below. I really love this brow powder as well. I feel like it's the only one that I've used ever since I bought it. Brows are literally so difficult. Like some days your brows are so freaking amazing and some days it's like why? Like why do you look like you've been through a wood chipper? I don't understand. I'm gonna bronze up my face. I'm using my Becca um, Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Bronze Bondi. Bronze up the face a little bit. I'm just trying to keep my makeup very soft and minimal because being like it's a bridal show, I don't want to go like with a crazy smoky eye or anything. So I'm just trying to keep it kind of soft, kind of natural looking, just everyday makeup. I think I might mix these two NARS blushes. I'm first going to go in with Madly by NARS and I'm using my Sigma Spotlight Duster F37 brush. And I'm going to put this mainly on... My cheek, I love this blush. It's like one of my favorites, I think. Look how beautiful and soft that blends. And then on the apples of the cheeks, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of NARS Orgasm, just to add a little bit of color. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This is like the only highlighter I've been using lately. It's so, it's like my, if I could create a highlighter, I think this would be it because my favorites I mean, I love the Colt Champagne Pop, but I feel like my favorite highlighters are golden ones. Like, I just feel like they look so beautiful. Okay, to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna have powder all over everything. To finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go back with my blending brush and I'm gonna take some of that Mocha and Americano and just put this right along the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Maverick from the Persona palette and just blend that in a little bit more with this. Lid shade on because I feel like with all that blending that color just kind of went away. So going back in with Seductive, I'm just going to place this right on top again. I'm going to take my Line Perfector brush, just going in with a little bit of black. Just applying this right to the outer corner. And then I'm going to blend it, blend it. Inner corner highlight. I'm going to go in with Sassy from the Persona Cosmetics palette and just add that right to my inner corner. Oh my gosh, it's 145. You did good, Ashley. All right, I'm going to put some black eyeliner in my waterline. And then, of course, a coat of mascara to the lower lashes. I'm just going to do lips now, and then I'll probably redo them later. I'm going to do it with my Jordana Easy Liner Rock and Rose. I think I'm going to go in with Stila Caramello, just because this lipstick just stays on so good. It stays on all day, I think. For lip gloss, I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan Molten Lip in Rose Gold and just apply this, I think, right to the center. 
Alright guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know that it was kind of all over the place with me talking. Thank you guys so much for staying and listening to me talking about things that really don't matter. But honestly, to me they matter, so thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I gotta go finish getting ready. I got about an hour left before I have to leave, so I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!